Hello and welcome back to Micro Jurassic World. Uh, we are so close to finishing now. We have Triceratops territory, which is going to be about here. The Cretaceous crews going all the way down the middle. And then I'm going to try and scour the internet for an attraction to go on the far eastern side. Because this is a big bit of empty land, which I don't like. So, once Triceratops territory is done, it will be super easy to get the Cretaceous crews done. Because honestly, this is, it is a big amount of space. Because obviously there isn't a Cretaceous crew, so I kind of have to wing it. So, the Triceratops territory. This is the rough outline. I kind of want it to be like two halves. So, it's like a walkthrough enclosure. You walk through, uh, and then there's like a midway point where there's shops how how big do i have to make it if this is uh oh no wait it's a guest isn't it there if this is oh wow so it's going to be like three times the size of this uh because obviously i want uh three of them obviously uh, or at least two one on each side uh so if it's at least double the size of this that would be fine um i kind of want it like my bamboo forest where it's like a walk through thing and then the midway point but make this a lot bigger because on this one I've put the end as the uh, shopping district kind of. It's like a beach kind of chill area. But yeah, I think for here I want it in the middle. And then you can continue walking around to the Triceratops. Maybe I could add a little, a little path going here. Maybe that could work. Because then it would be a lot easier. And cut down on traffic and whatever because... Um, what is it? Transportation rating is always going to be bad if it's one-way system. We'll see. Uh, for now, uh, whatever, let's get me that. Right now, we need to do the layout of it. Um, so just boop, do that. Perfect. Uh, I've even done little signs for it. Very cute. Uh, so I'll start here. And... Uh, I suppose it should be a one-way system, shouldn't it? You know? So it should. If I could try and make it... Ooh, one big circle, maybe? No. That looks way too big, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, it's too big, it's too big. Uh... Oh, I'm on the damage thing. You know what? I'm going to fast forward the uh, the path making because I really don't know what I'm doing and it's going to be a lot of trial and error, I think. So BRB while uh, I try and work this out. This is what I've done. Uh, I've kind of made like a cool like uh, plaza type pattern because I wanted, uh, what is it, the seating kind of thing around here. Because this is going to be just like a chill, like, oh, let's go to, uh, Triceratops territory, just have a nice relaxing time. Obviously, um, they are called gentle giants, as in the petting zoo. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's really annoying trying to turn all of these like this. Um, but I thought that was a good idea. I also added, uh, fencing because I didn't want the Triceratops on the main plaza. Because obviously kids might get scared and I don't want them rampaging through the shops or something. Uh, so I have, like, fenced off this, um, like, walking path bit. Uh, but then you can come out and go to, um, the Triceratops. Now... Apparently, there is multiple species. So you've got Triceratops and then the uh, Cynotops or something. Oh, I'm butchering that name. Uh, let me get a quick check. Um, where's a thing I can use? I'm trying to attach it to a path. Uh, it's not really working. What if I... No. Oh, God. Oh, I know. I've got one already made over here. Ta-da! Uh, right, so it's called the Sinoceratops, right? Somewhere down here. The Pentaceratops. Styroceratops. Oh man, it's quite a lot. So you've got Triceratops, Triceratops, Tauroceratops, Sinoceratops, Pentaceratops, 
five. Oh, now suit is out. Six. Jesus. Oh my god. And a Chasmosaurus. Right. Seven. Oof. That's a lot. That is a lot. Now, it is called Triceratops Territory, because I know there's Triceratops in the uh, Gyrosphere Valley, so I'd... No. Yeah, Gyrosphere Valley. So I was kind of hoping I wouldn't have to put it there. But, fine, I guess, if I have to, I'll put them in here. And I'm just going to have to put, like, one or two other species uh, and hope for the best. But, yeah, uh, we'll see about that. Let me just finish up the decorations, and then... I'll add some, like, fibre and stuff. Ta-da! But then also, um, so they don't, like, get scared and want to hide, they can go over here as, like, the, just a quiet area. So, yeah. Okay. Now, I have opened up this. This is technically a part of it, mainly because I know they, they all like forest. So in case there's not enough forest on their, uh, like, area, they could come in here have a snooze in the forest and then come out again because this is where all the food's going to be so they're most likely going to be around here uh, and i have made some hills and with the hills i want to put forest like this okay it's just a good good indicator of where the forest is um, and i think some terrain changes is good rather than just completely flat the only problem is it kind of Changes the path, if I do it too much. <clears throat> so I am trying to do it sparingly. Like, look, it just kind of goes, whoop, which is not what I want. So, yeah, just edit all that out and add a bit more forest. Okay, now what do they eat? I'm guessing... They eat fiber? Oh, okay, so your leaf. Uh, you a leaf. Okay, this could be very easy. Leaf, off to a good start. Fiber, ooh, fiber, fiber. Right, so half eat fiber, half eat leaf. So what I could do is, where is it? Here. Is have maybe fiber along one half. Um, like this. So this is leaf. So if your leaf, you can be fiber. Because then you're separated, you see. Oh wait, is that a bit of forest? Oops. Um, like that. And you know what? I'm going to separate this as well. Just because... Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Actually, no, what I could do is add another swirly path. Like... This. Ta-da! There. So it goes in a little swirl. Oh god, you go right for a hill. My bad. Okay, good. And then you need to be cut, boop, like that. And you need to be trimmed, I would say, like that. That way, there's not too many. So we can control this being a Triceratops, this being Cynoceratops, and this one being a Chasmosaurus or something, you know? Or maybe this one, the main one is um, Triceratops, because that is the big boy. It seems better. Uh, sweet, okay. Now, will I need, like, viewing galleries? Because I know the game is really picky, and even though you've got, like, lots of dinosaurs, you can't, um, you can't actually get guests in the area, and this is, like, a, a thing, like this, you know? Uh, which is a rather annoying, but, yeah, okay. In fact, what if you could zip line? You could zip line. Oh, so close. I was going to say you could zip line all the way to the other end. I think I would have done that 
if I could, because that's rather cool. Or what if I add it like here, you know, and then have um, and then have it going like like this, or just straight up to the exit. Is that good or bad? Uh, I do have another zip line, I'm pretty sure, somewhere. Here. Oh, yeah, but that doesn't count. That's just Camp Cretaceous. Okay, fine. I'll have a zip line. Because, to be honest, there is meant to be a zip line thing about here. So that kind of works perfectly. Uh, just need to attach you. And attach you. Now, I must remember to redo the fencing on this, otherwise dinosaurs will be everywhere. Oh god, I can't do it. Let me just move it about a bit. There you go. That's hopefully done it. Nice! Uh, no, sort direction. Ta-da! Perfect! Okay. Uh, now, what do I need to do? You attach to there, and you attach... Oh. To there! Ta-da! Okay, good. And I'm pretty sure that Triceratops eats fibre. So, oh, I just got rid of some more uh, forest there, my bad. So, here you go. Oh, actually, wait. This needs to curve in like like that. And then you, awkward as you are, need to come and curve. Oh, no, a bit too much. Like this. Just that there's an emergency shelter close by. Now, annoyingly, because there's no gate or like staff pass system. Uh, guests are obviously going to come in here and immediately go into um, here, which is annoying. Uh, but I haven't really got a choice. Actually, what if I force them to have a choice? And although I do the normal thing, and that's just to add multiple paths, I add... Wait for it. Yeah. There. And then I can get rid of this. Sweet! Okay. Uh, like... That. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, this could be something, but... Let's not waste it. Oh, did I just do that? Sorry. What are you going to be? Green leaf. Yeah. I said green leaf, ground leaf. Whoops. Oh god, I'm butchering it everywhere. Ta-da! This is the uh, packy arena, by the way. Oh, I thought bins there. Filthy. Right. Okay, okay, okay. So, I think that's it. Right? I mean, yeah, okay, so we have an attraction, definitely, the zip line, which is already meant to be uh, in the attractions, because it's, it's technically meant to be somewhere up here, near the um, Aqua Park and Gentle Giants. There's like a thing here, which is like zip line place, but it turns out there's nothing there, it's just zip lining. So zip lining over Triceratops territory is much more cool. Uh, and yeah, then you've got this and this. It's kind of annoying how it doesn't connect. At least here, you know. Uh, but oh well. And then you've got a wee here. And then a wee here. Okay. Sweet. With shops and a toilet and enough um, emergency shelters. One there, one there. Okay. Oh, great. Now, I could extend this path and go all the way through and go here. But of course there would be nothing there. Um, and I don't really want paths leading, especially when I've got a monorail. The monorail works great, so there's no need for that. 
Uh, one other thing is this must connect to this. I don't like how it's so straight. Like... This! Tada! And this is the Cretaceous Cruise. Let me just rechange this. Cretaceous Cruise. There you go. So this is going to be... Um, obviously you can't actually have Cretaceous Cruise here. So let me just delete this little row because I was practicing. Uh, this is going to just be water, I guess. Um, I, honestly, I have no clue how this is going to work. Um, obviously you do see it slightly in the film, which is good. Uh, however, it's like one scene and it's literally just a bit of water and some dinosaurs. So going to do some research on that. Uh, but also this uh, natural lagoon type thing is uh, not not technically in the 2015 map. Uh, I was kind of following the 2015 map when I did this because obviously I'm trying to make Jurassic World. Um, and this is from the 2018 map because I'm trying to mix it up and got both uh, where they changed that the central lagoon is actually out on the edge. That's how the Mosasaurus escapes in Fallen Kingdom. So, yeah, this doesn't actually need to be there. It can, actually, if I do dish and dish, it could possibly, if I just make it small in case it changed my mind, just do this, like that. In fact, it could even go more. You know? So it could do that if I wanted to. Or maybe Cretaceous Cruise literally just leads out into um, the open. But I can make it any route I want to do that. And there was two of them, which I kind of liked. Like that. Now don't tell me how I'm going to get this to work. Uh, two different um, rivers, if you will. I suppose I could just do a thing like that and have it like go in a circle. And then this massive thing is the Cretaceous Cruise and that way it would give up space for trying to think of something to go here okay that looks stupid though that is going to have to be natural again that yeah I don't like the look at that at all so delete that delete that Boop. okay uh but yeah I kind of wanted something here just because it was really empty space and also if this is downstream that's it you know you can't then go upstream can you doesn't really make sense. Or maybe it's just a, a natural, like, lake. Like, um... No. Like, no. Like, hang on. Like this. You know? So it literally, you just go around a lake and there's lots of trees and stuff. Hmm. Anyway, um, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. I'm, I'm getting a bit excited. But that is the next video. This is Triceratops Territory. And I... I'm going now. <laughs> uh, goodbye. Thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.